Okay, we got the uh, Ryobi Dory Hinge installation kit, and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do show you exactly how this thing works. A couple easy steps, bing, bang, boom, you're all done. So it comes in the box, as you can see the box here, it's all set up, and then uh, this, is the, this is the router right there. It comes with a router bit and everything. So it literally comes with everything you need except the router. And uh, like I said, I'm going to take you through the router today. i got a brand new router sitting there, and we're going to go ahead and do that. And uh, so first thing I'm going to do is pull this router bit out of there, put it inside the router, and we'll go to the next step. Okay? It's going to be super simple, guys. Okay, when you're using the uh, Ryobi router, okay, it's got a little ad adjustment thing right here. Use this thing right here to adjust it. And it goes up and down, just loosen this up here, this arm, then adjust it down, then tighten it back up. Okay, what you want to do is on this thing here, it comes with an awesome little thing. See it down there? And I have it set perfectly for uh, the small hinges. And if you want the larger hinges, you put it over to the next one over to the right there, and that'll be a little bit thicker. See, so because the hinges that come with for the small three and three and a half inch are really thin, or a little thinner. And then the ones that are four inch and five inch or whatever are much thicker. So anyway, so this is the one for the small one. So you can see exactly how to do that. And it comes again with this killer uh, door kit. So that works out great. Anyway, we got that really set up real nice. Okay, I went ahead and just set it on the door. So this is all you got to do is literally set it on the door. And here you have your different size hinges. Almost always you're going to go three and a half or four inch. If you happen to have more, there's all the way up to five inch or all down to three inch. But normally for a door, it'll be three and a half to four. I have three and a half inch hinges I'm going to be using. And they're semi round, which is not, uh, you got quarter round, semi round, and you have square. And so these are set up right now for semi round. This hinge will do them all. Just by taking out these little adjustment things right here on each side, flipping them around, you can get square or or uh, quarter, or quarter round. So anyway, right now it's set up for a full full, uh, full round, um, which is called half round or whatever. And there's only three different kinds. You have um, square, quarter round, and half round. And so no matter what they're called, there's only three different kinds. So there's three different kinds. Right now we're set up for half round. And uh, it comes right away from the factory. So you just set it on there. I have my lines already lined up for where I want the hinge to be. And then this piece right here, go ahead and pull that out of there, please. The thing you put in my hinge, it's sitting right on a tool. You just pull it right off. It sits right here. Place it right in there, Mom. It sits right, it sits right in here. Well, I can't do it. I'm trying to do this thing. Set it up, please. Okay, hold on. Let me go ahead and... Okay, so anyway, we got this thing here. Just set the Ryobi up. Um, I already have it marked. Um, you can see here, I got it marked where I want it to be, approximately. And so I take it and I set it on there. So it's lined up exactly right at it. I just screw that one screw in right there. So you don't have to go very tight. Just screw it until it's snug. And uh, that's all set up. This thing literally is a, is a piece of cake. Once I do that, I bring out my router and I'll route this thing out. Okay, we're all set up here now. I got it set up for my three and a half inch hinges. Uh, I got it set up for the round hinges. So, so three and a half, round, and I got my little fence wall set, set up here. It used to be sitting right here. Remember we took it out and put it right there. Now it keeps my uh, little tiny router, little palm router from rocking. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the router on now and go ahead and route this thing out. It's all set up. Remember we did our depth gauges here. We got a depth gauge, smaller one and a bigger one. So we already did all that. And now we're ready to start routing. So when you turn the router on, keep it in this area. This is what the little divot's for here. Uh, instead of going straight across, you made a little divot. So you can start your router up in this area and bring it into your work. So you start it up right here, and then just bring it into your work. Okay, and go all the way around. We get in the whole edge. All right, I'll go ahead and turn it on and do that. And I went and just routed the whole thing out. It all turned out perfect. I'll loosen up the only thing you actually got to move. This is the only screw you use in the whole project. 
slide it out of the way, and our hinges should fit perfectly right here in that area, and they do. Absolutely perfect, dead nuts, and uh, that's what we're hoping for, folks. And that's just a great tool. That thing worked absolutely fantastic for 25 bucks at Home Depot. Come on, man, you can't bite, you can't beat that. So anyway, it's all set up, man. This is a great way to do it.